on today's menu, a humble recipe you don't need to go against the grain to make. A delicious one pan za'atar, rice. Lei ho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Nothing says comfort more than a delicious bowl of rice. And this recipe is absolutely delicious. Let's begin. First things first, we're going to toast these amazing, delicious pine nuts. Pine nuts are quite expensive, but remember it's always a special occasion when we cook together. Non-stick pan, medium heat, third cup, pine nuts. Toast the nuts for three to four minutes. The nuts will turn deliciously golden brown, but remember to keep them moving. Set aside. Spread the nuts onto a plate. This way they'll stay nice and crispy. One cup basmati rice. Rinse and drain the rice two to three times to get rid of the excess starch. Set aside. Pat dry about 100 grams of extra firm tofu and place into a bowl. Crumble the tofu with a fork. Heat the pan back to medium heat. One tablespoon avocado oil. Tofu. Saute for four to five minutes. Half tablespoon soy sauce. Two teaspoons dark soy sauce. Saute for another two to three minutes. Set the tofu aside. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. One red onion, finely chopped. One long green chili, finely chopped. One tomato, diced. This here is amazing za'atar. It's kind of like a mix of different spices, sesame seeds, mainly oregano. You should be able to find this even at a big box store. Medium heat. Two tablespoons olive oil. Onions and green chili. Saute for two to three minutes. garlic, one tablespoon za'atar, 
one teaspoon sweet paprika. Saute for about a minute. Rice. Tomato. Pinch of salt. Saute for another minute. Use the juices from the tomatoes to deglaze the pan, locking in all that amazing flavor. Add back in the crumbled tofu. Mix. One and a half cups water. Be sure to submerge the rice into the liquid. Five to six thin slices of lemon. Arrange the lemon slices on top of the rice and bring to a boil. Turn the heat to medium low, cover and cook for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, turn the heat off and let the rice steam further for another 10 minutes. Chop about a third cup worth of fresh parsley. Carefully remove the lemon slices. Add half of the chopped parsley to the rice, leaving the rest for further garnishing. Toasted pine nuts. Gently fold over the rice to combine. Plate generously. Sprinkle with a little bit more parsley and add a side of pickled turnips. You can now enjoy this delicious recipe with absolute confidence. This is definitely a very unique dish. Man, oh man, the flavors in there, it's just extraordinary. First off, this is visually just stunning. I love rustic and casual looking dishes like this, but you get those little pops of color from the fresh parsley and that stunning bright red pickled turnip. The rice is so deliciously fluffy and dainty and moist, but it's complemented with that kind of meaty tofu crumble and then contrasted with the toasted kind of crunchy pine nuts. That adds a little bit of a smoky flavor and goes so incredibly well with that little bit of a salty umami kind of flavor from the soy sauce and the dark soy sauce. The garlic, onions, and green chili that we chopped up really fine and sauteed just literally melts into this rice and you get a little bit of that beautiful color from the sweet paprika. You get that delicious herb kind of flavor from the za'atar, the oregano, which really gives it that aromatic lift. The little bit of lemon slices that we placed on top just kind of infuses the rice with this beautiful, delicious, bright lemon juice. And that pickled turnip just accentuates that kind of acidic, a little bit of a sweetness and this really extraordinary brightness. It goes so well in contrast with the earthy flavor from this rice. And of course, the tomato that we added in there, you almost kind of forget about it because you don't see it since the juices help to glaze that pan and really melt into the rice. This is definitely one of those easy, simple, delicious recipes that has so much different flavor, so much different texture. It really is that party you really want to attend. Man, it's like I always say, it's dishes like this that is so easy, so simple, so delicious, but makes it so incredibly exciting to cook at home. 
absolutely love it. And if you love easy, delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out our ramen cookbook, the Cook with Confidence cookbook, our Young Man Cooking merch, as well as our plant-based sushi masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check all those things out. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.